You can't compete, homie, motherfucker. Seven, six, seven, no kind of dagger, homie. Yo, my eyes be blazed in. We were counting to the bay. Yo, yo, good cool everybody. It's your favorite card machine, man. And today we're going to react to the East Side featuring Nate Dog, Cocaine, and Snoop Dogg. Snoop D O W G. You know what I'm saying? It's just called Ghetto. This shit was released. I was least on in early 2000. So basically 2000, a year before I was born. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyways, enough to talk and let's get to it. I was born coming up from the ghetto with the OG seven let go. This is something I had to know. I I played this shit on my Instagram stories before, but I never listened to the whole fucking song, you know what I'm saying? T the homie T Lisa did play in, in the in the in the fucking you know in his fucking shop, but I wasn't paying attention that much. I really want to react to this shit, so which I'm doing right now. So yeah, my my bad bad, bad TV, my bad T I'm being real, my bad my boy, but you know. I'm too big, real sneaky. Watch niggas that try to creep on me. Stay away from the ones that shake me. That's what my mama always told me. When you're living on the east side. Check this Mac out. Bet your boyfriend ain't knowing that I'm steadily going your back. Out. Watch me track out on these niggas and bounce out on these hoes. Get out of my life. What's up, Trick? You know how it goes. Friday night. The club was about to close and I was looking fabulous. So I got up the stretch. About to catch me one of these straggles. You east side dogs. And we barking, not simping. Young homes, about that time to start this parking lot pimping. I keep that thing high. Posted in the same spot. Nothing but my khaki shorts, house shoes, boxes, and my swing shot. I'm from the home of the riot. That's before the peace died. But I'm still hollering out. East side. What y'all busters gon' do when the pimps, bangers, and hustlers smash on you? It ain't about who's selling the most game. Put us all together, nigga. This is who run things. If you can't hang, stay the fuck out the kitchen, bitch. I'm ghetto fabbed out. So fuck politicking. The, 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 uh, these West Coast, Old School shit, you know, 90s, early 2000s, they were fucking fire. They was fire as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Girl, listen to, like, you know, on 90s shit, early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? I bought it thousands, of course, I'm saying that shit. But, you know, I wasn't really interested of the, the 2010s damage shit. It was cool at first, you know what I'm saying? I still focus on 2010 shit, like, um, YG in his prime time, you know, big and bad, being boo. Um, what else? Um, I'm probably, there's a lot, there's a lot. Uh, well, there's a lot for us to fuck with today, but it's just like, most songs nowadays, it's just, they don't hype me up. They just like, this nigga annoying. This nigga doing, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. So I'm like 90s, Earth Thoughts and Market that they they really spin it. And they say some real shit. Cause I'm cause rap, check your history, bro. Um this whole rap shit is, is not about, you know, it's not about who we who makes the most like Well, hold on, how do you explain it? You know, when you when you make rap songs, bro. Like, it's not supposed to be just hype shit, yada, yada. Like, yeah, this hype with rap song, every really, yada, yada. But when you're rapping, it's like therapy. Rapping is like therapy. You know what I'm saying, dog? So if I talk about my life in a rap, I'm going to do that shit that I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to write about the shit you've been through, the, right, the shit you know that what's real. Not about everything, gang shit, yada, yada. I'm talking about real on you. You know what I'm saying? Real about you, real about, you know, yada, yada. The song, rap, the songs... I basically post you about you and stories you tell. So yeah, but nowadays people care about care about you know like I'm gonna pop up pop this and that's only bad and that but you know I'm gonna have so many bitches like talking about shit. It's like it's not not bad to life because that shit can, can be you can get and that shit can be taken away. You know what I'm saying? Waiting for a chance and this shit will never happen Time is money and when you get it keep it cracking All you hear is with my two weeks twist I keep the good year grip so the dubs don't slip If you want my claims I think you best to make a change So close your eyes when I let my back end hang It's not I ride till the motherfucking wheels fall off Goldie's got Dayton's, Goldie's got Dayton's Now since my first 
to the turf, I've been a goddamn fool. Old school motherfucker breaking jaws and rules. Who's the main? Who's the blame? But myself in the set. All my peers through the years steady getting wet. Give me a rep, that's what I wanted most of my life. Did it all like a hawk, so I'm toting my stripes. Will I quit it? I'm committed till the day I drop. Slanging rock, spraying shots, saying fuck the cops. Locked up in the Chevy and my switches is hot. They just hang as I swing on the bitches I spot. Bandana on the antenna, swinging and riding. East side, ghetto life is a vibe. Me and my brother had to walk to school. Walk to school. I used to get hand me down clothes from Joe Blue. A couple of dickies with some croaker sacks. Damn, cuz I can't believe my kids who gave me that. Had a nigga looking G'd up with the scarf on my head, still the sheets on my bed. Uh -huh. Eat bologna sandwiches without no motherfucking bread. Uh -huh. I stole a pack of chips with the big homie bread. Now I stole a pack of chips. <laughs> He's talking about that one time. Um, I'm just do that to the story in an interview, I think, or a podcast. He said that he got, he almost got locked up. He almost got motherfucking locked up for um for stealing a bag of chips from a gas station, I think. Yeah, I think that's what he said, right? I remember Snoop Dogg shit said that shit, but not everybody started hanging on Snoop Dogg because um, he was talking about that um, the JC Tupac shit. He didn't say he was there, but everybody who was weird, everyone else that's, that's like old, like old as him or, you know, was there at the time was actually saying, nah, he was not but even JC said the same shit too, but that was probably like, hey, I, I can't, I can't blame Snoop Dogg, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, we can, we can actually fuck up your brain, but you know, it's, it's, it's good. Weed is good. Weed is like medical and that's, it's a good thing, dog. But the thing is about weed, bro, that shit can fuck up your chromosome, your brain, you know what I'm saying, dog? So for me, bro, like, I don't smoke weed, I love it. But one day I, I, I would decide to stop smoking weed. Trust, I trust me, I would decide to stop smoking weed. I don't say, I you know what, boom, boom, I'm done. I'm not going to say shit. When I'm really serious about it, I don't talk about it. Boom. I just do it. I just do it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, <laughs> for full regrets for a bag of chips. That would be, that'd be a mockery. You get, you get, imagine you go out to jail for, for, like five, for like five days for just a bag of chips. That's a that's a mockery, my boy. I'm like for a bag of chips, nigga. Really? You could just fucking push the dude when you run out the chips. My chips, nigga. Break. Sippin' on some Kool-Aid I got suspended from school Dang. For cussing out the teacher's aid And now I'm about to get a weapon But you know I'm steady woofing On the side where they ride it. I'm about to get a weapon But I'm steady woofing I like that <laughs> I'm gonna get a weapon I'm steady woofing Arf, arf I'm, I'm actually like you get um, I'm gonna tell you the strangest ass story One time I got fucking Got my ass whooped Like it's just, it's gonna sound strange as fuck Like hold up I'm, I'm gonna hit the blunt For that tell you story Look, I remember, you know, coming back home from school, and I remember, like, I forgot where I got with, I was over some of the house and shit, I remember, remember, like, my mom brought the child, you know, the mask, you, you know, you know, you know, little, little mask, your mama's, you know, get, get, get up with the chunker, that's the mask she's mom grew up with the motherfucking chancla. Once you see that chancla, ay, ay, ay. Cause my mom hit me with the chancla. I think, mm, I think she was here with I don't know if that was her or my dad. I don't remember who it was, but nah, my mom, my mom went with me with chancla, I remember she fucking did something. She, she gave me a bunch of weapons, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I remember like, I got there, she said chanclas, right? And she, and, she, and she was like, and she was like, ah, oh, now I remember, report card, report card, now I remember, you know what I'm saying, I mean, hey, can't go take my mark, I think you think you think you think you you know what I'm saying, I got my ass, well, you know my ass, cry. I look at you, 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 I look at Straight up, my boy. Side. East side in the beach, yeah. west side of the coast. Uh -huh. And we ghetto like a motherfucking hot butter toast. toast. In the morning with some government cheese. government cheese. We keep it ghetto like a nigga shooting dice on his knees. And get your money first, rule number one. Hello. Living it up is living life in the ghetto. Yeah. Coming up from the ghetto. Tell the OGs where they go. This is something we have to know. I'll be real big. Watch niggas that.